Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and I'm here with a large collective thrift store haul that is so long overdue that I'm gonna have a hard time remembering where things were from or how much they were most likely. But I just filmed a large Dollar Tree haul. I also did a walkthrough before that and I'm just on a roll today because today's like the first day I'm feeling decent since my oral surgery this side <laughs> um so i figured let me just keep filming so this is going to be large collective pull and grab if you're local i'll tell you where they're from and hopefully i remember how much they cost as well as where they're from we'll see how it goes as we go along and as all of my thrift store hauls uh some is for resale some is for personal use and i'll tell you that as we go along too so let's get started Okay, the uh, first bag it looks like I'm in is from Island Thrift, if you're local. And I definitely remember green was half price. So these were only a dollar. And um, they are, I got two of them. These are from a Atelia Kids. Uh, I got a dinosaur and uh, like a gray teddy bear looking thing. And these are those seatbelt things for kids they had a whole bunch of them so they were all brand new some still had the sleeves or the tags so they were they were all brand new and they are so cool and plushy and soft and little man just moved into a uh, bigger car seat that uses the car's seat belt so now this is absolutely perfect and they can like sleep on it too he loves it that's why we already had to use one but this is the dino he chose the bear first i'm shocked if you watch me and you know little man you're probably shocked too or at least you know why I'm shocked. All right, and next, this is also uh, for Little Man. This was half price too, I remember. So it was only $5.50. And it is this super cute, perfect jacket for the spring. It's by Sean White. And it's just really fresh. He's going to look so cute in this. I can't even. I love that. Nice little lighter jacket for him. Then this is for me. Uh, this was also half price. So this was only $2.50. And this is brand new with tags. It was $8.99. Uh, that looks like Target. Yeah. But it is just a black spaghetti strap tank top with built-in like bralette thing. Extra large. Can never, ever, ever have too many of those. I got these little jean shorts for myself. These were half price. These were $3. As well as these. These were half price also. So $5.50. And another black tank top. This was $2.50. This is Torrid. And then a whole slew of shorts and whatnot for Little Man. But hold on, I have one more pair apparently. These were half price, so $3. And these are stretchy. These are like uh, pajama jeans almost. Yeah, they looked cool, so. And now I think the rest of this bag's for Little Man. Getting very excited for Grease. You know how I do if you've been watching me for a while. You're also going to understand if you watch me or watch all the videos why I get so many t-shirts from Dollar Tree <laughs> for Little Man. Because I got a whole bunch of shorts. $2.50. These little basketball shorts. They are starter. Black these black three dollar kind of like cargo shorts these blue these were 250 blue little like khakis but not khakis two dollars these starter basketball shorts black with white stripes on the side these 250 
these are Old Navy active. They're like black, uh, gray ombre with like speckle and then black on the rest. These were 350 camo cargo. These to go with the neon t-shirts I buy him. This is Nike dry fit. These were only 250 also. Look how cute. Perfect for those neon t-shirts. Then this was $2. This little Mario Kart t-shirt. This was $2 also. This little NASA t-shirt. This was only a dollar fifty, and it's a little Sonic T-shirt. And this was more for me because I don't even know if he knows what this is. But a dollar fifty, this little Simpsons, this Bart Simpson T-shirt. I love it so much. And then I found this for two dollars. Uh, this is just an, it's, it almost looks like it could be a swim shirt, but it's not. It's just one of those cool active ones in this bright neon green. That also goes with those shorts that I just showed you too, either one. All right. So that was one huge bag. Most of which was for little man. No surprise there. Then, uh, we're still at, uh, Island Thrift. Then I've been needing, a wall clock for the Shibe shed because a, a lot of times like I'll be like listening to a, a YouTube video or something on my phone and I get all wrapped up into maybe packaging or whatever and a lot of times it's right before the post office closes so I need to keep track of the time and there's a perfect spot in there that I needed a wall clock for and look at this this was only $2.50 brand new from Ikea but it was $4.99 half price and it's totally like cloudy clear like you know so it goes with absolutely everything and it's perfect i love it 250 then i got these for little man for this summer they should fit hopefully they're not too big but that was only 250 so these little uh beach shoes water shoes and they have the little thing on the back to keep them tight there's sand falling out of them so they are not brand new but that's okay then I got him these sneakers I figured these would be good to kind of beat around in like when you're getting dirty I don't know they're they're cute but I, I usually don't get white bottoms because then they look dirty quicker uh but these are a 13 so perfect for now and they're pumas and they just slip on. There's no, uh, no, no like laces to tie. Three fifty. I don't know if I said that, but I got those. Then I got these, and these are a twelve. It alleges. Oh, actually, is this why I got them? Because I just made myself nervous with the twelve. I think it actually says thirteen, but faded inside. So these are Land's End, these little suede slip-ons. Perfect for like half dress, you know, like if you do like a jeans and a button down, right? Like half dressed up. They were only $2.50. I mean, come on. And I loved these so much that I got them to hold on to because they're too big for him. Um, these are a one and a half, I think, so... Yeah, one and a half. So it's going to be a while. But these are the, and they were only 350. These are Air Force Ones, high tops, black. I love them. Come on. 350. You can't, you can't, you can't. And then, so I know this is from Five Below because I was actually going to get it from him from the web, for him from the website. But then I found it for $3.99, which I believe is possibly like 25 cents more or a dollar less than five below. <laughs> but then I didn't have to place an order. So it was worth it, whatever it is. This is this and it's brand new. It's all taped shut. Pet Clinic Veterinary Playset. So 
it has these little stuffed animal. It's got like little bandages, one of the like e-collars and an x-ray film and a parts of the dog card. So he's going to love that. Probably save that for Easter. Then this was another trip way later on to Island Thrift again. So I got this Morty plush and this is by the Toy Factory 2017. This was $3.99 full price. Um, but I did get it for resale and I looked it up and I think it's, I think it's pretty good for resale. So then I got these for me from the thrift store. I think they're like a no name, like a, like a Chinese something. I don't know. And they were $8.99 half price. So they were $4.50. But what in the Saved by the Bell? I had to have these. I had to have these pants, so I got them for myself. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm so happy. I love them. Then I got myself this dress for $4.50 for like the fall with like a tall brown boot. It's by LA Soul. But the reason why I had to get it is because it has fox all over it. And it has pockets. Do you have a dress with fox all over it? I didn't, and now I do, so I had to have it. It's fantastic. Then I've been wanting one of these forever. This one's a little big, but better too big than too small. Uh, this was half price, so it was $7.50, and it's perfect for Greece, perfect for the summer. It's one of those short shorts rompers, and it's got the little tie in the middle that you can like kind of adjust it, but it's shorts and it's just so loose and airy. And I, I've really been wanting one for so long. So I was so happy to find that. Oh, and then little man has, um, they're doing a little presentation at Greek school for Greek independence day. And they asked that the kids wear a white shirt and uh, preferably blue pants. So I got him these dark blue pants for $4.99. And this was $7.50. It's a kid's Michael Kors button down. So that's for his Greek school presentation. Then um, one of my many issues is a bathing suit issue. I have a bathing suit issue. I love bathing suits. So I got many. This one was full price because blue was, oh no, I'm sorry. This one is yellow. Blue was full price that day. This one is brand new with tags, simply yours. And it's a halter with flamingos and then a little like skirt portion, but it is, it's a one, one piece. So it has the, the bottom there. Yeah. Brand new with tags, $4.50. Then this one was only $2.50. Come on, how can you not? Look how pretty. I love that. I can't, I have, yeah, I have problems. And the last bathing suit, because, you know, three was enough for now. This was $6.50, but the reason why I had to get it was because of the color. Obsessed. And if I get super, super tan in Greece, oh my goodness. How amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's all like cinchy on the sides. And I don't even think the camera's picking up how day glow this is, but it is fantastic. So yes, was that the most expensive one at 650? I feel like it was. I love it. Moving on. All right, also from Island Thrift, and that's gonna be it from Island Thrift for at least now. I don't, 
I think forever in this haul, but at least for now, I got three jars. These were all half price. So this is the biggest one. It's a three liter. This was $4.50, half price. This one says spaghetti on it. Look at how awesome. And the, the rubber seal is still there. I love them. These are for resale. I don't know if I said that, but I do love them. This one was $3.50. This one says sugar. That's one and a half liter. And then I think my favorite, because it's so random, this was $2.50. So what, like 10 ish, 10 11 for all of them? This is three quarters of a liter. It says leftovers. Leftovers. So that set will be for resale altogether. Amazing. I love it a lot. Okay, moving on. This is from the uh, house portion of the barn and the house if you're local. Uh, kids shirts are $2. So I got little man this polo, polo, polo. Blue and white stripes, red horseman. Super cute for the summer. And I got him this polo navy blue sweater with the red horseman. Those were $2 each. Then they had a wall of earrings that said last chance, $1 each. So I grabbed a few of those for myself. These were a dollar. I thought they were really cute. They're almost like a, like a moonstone. I don't definitely don't have anything like that. So these were a dollar also, with just the single black stone hanging. These were a dollar also. Really pretty. They have like an Art Deco look to them. And the last were these chandelier type earrings, black with the gold tone metal. And those were a dollar also. So all of those a dollar each. Then we're going to jump over to Give Kids Hope. And I do have a receipt. So let's see. Wow, this was from... Wow, I'm not even telling you how long ago this was. It's shameful. They had a clothing sale this day for a dollar a piece. So I grabbed some things just to see. I always say, worst comes to worst. I can re-donate it at a dollar. So this is violet and claire it's a little like it could be off the shoulder or under a suit jacket i thought it was cute long sleeve feels really nice a dollar i mean come on i thought this was cute this is relativity and uh, it's got a little, I call those hanger nipples. I don't know. <laughs> you know, when something hangs on a hanger too hard. All right. So this is like a long, very long cardigan. But I, I don't have anything like that either. I thought that was pretty. A dollar. And I got this to try too, because I thought the color was pretty. This is Kier, Kier plus J. And that's just a pink, like a thin pink cardigan type thing. Cute, happy. If it's not too, too big. I didn't try anything on. You can't. I mean, those I could have, but like they don't have a fitting room at Give Kids Hope. So then I got this Nerf toy from 2009. I didn't look it up for resale, but I figured, let me see. If not, it'd be cool to just have. I don't know, but I, I think it's good for resale. It was $4 and it's still new in box sealed. So this, uh, what did I say? Nerf? He wrote Nerf. Sorry. Super soaker. So yeah. 
Oh, it is Nerf. Nerf Super Soaker. We'll see. I didn't look it up for resale, but that was my thought. I thought four was good on that. And I got this for myself. This uranium glass, it glows. This was $3. So that goes into my collection. I absolutely love it. And I also got this for resale. I didn't look this up either, but I think the price is fine. Uh, so this is by Maisto. It was $5. And it's a BMW 325i convertible, 1993. So yeah, $5 for that for resale. Then I was holding these four things in my hand and the manager was there at the time. And uh, so the kid that works there asked her and she's like $3 for everything in your hand. So I said, oh, thank you. So I got this applause horse. Was there a year on it? I, I kind of looked it up on eBay when I was there. And it looked like it had a pretty good re, re, resale, so that's why I picked it up. But it's this black, plush, applause horse. And so all of this for $3. Remember, I got this Winston poker set. Winston, the cigarette brand poker set. And it's brand new sealed. So that is for resale as well still on that three dollars i got this for little man because i actually got him a vintage it's officially vintage this year yeah a video now system um so this is fear factor not my favorite thing for him but i mean whatever they're they're not easy to come by so um got this to go with his with his um video now and he's got the color one as well too the video now color so the horse this the winston brand new poker set and this this is one of the banned books or one of the no longer being printed books i'm sorry but it is um a cole's cares one but whatever at least i i have it i think i had this one I would have loved to find one of the other five more of this, but uh, this is the one I believe I have in a collective book. I think this one is in Seuss by Six, but I don't have a single standing one. So, hey, it's probably my only shot at getting it <laughs> at this point. So, awesome. So, all four of those things for $3. Then I got this for resale. This was $2. And it's, I don't know what it is. What is that? Nothing? I think it's nothing. I think it's just a paperweight. But it's got these really pretty, like, koi in there. I don't know. But at $2, I figured that was good. And it's got the little bubbles coming from the fish. And all their Valentine's Day stuff was a dollar. So I got this for resale. Actually, no, I got this for me, not for resale. Um, because I just, I, it doesn't, this is definitely a hobbyist piece. Um, there's no signature on it. I always say selfishly, if you guys do hobbyist pieces, please put the year next to your initials so that when people find it 50 years from now, they know, <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking me, I'm not sure just cause it looks vintage. So I, I really don't, I don't know, but it was a dollar. Because uh, by that time, it was close to Valentine's Day. So all the Valentine's Day stuff was a dollar. Maybe resale? I don't know. It's one of those questionable ones. I don't really know. Okay, now we're going to jump over to Mather, if you're local. So my first find at Mather was this guy for $3. And this is definitely for resale. He is kind of dirty, but because he is the Redskins, I had to get him. 
So he is for resale. I can't remember. Oh, I, I, I Google imaged it to find out what they're called because I was unsure. But they were they were some football bear type thing. And I mean, yeah, he's he's definitely dirty. I will. I, I You could take his pants off and wash them and his shoes need to be scrubbed. And we'll see. I'll see how much they go for again. But it looked pretty good. And I'll see if it's worth me doing all the cleaning wasn't letting him go for three dollars then i got this for little man for 50 cents it's one of those little uh clip-on ties <laughs> you know easter's coming we go to midnight mass all that stuff so and I, he hasn't worn a tie in so long i feel like so i don't even know if they're all too short for him this one looked like the perfect length and uh it's brand new so 50 cents then these are size 13 but i thought these would be cute for the summer you know and they're just these little they were three dollars and they're these little michael kors little slip-on shoes thought they're cute i got this which the retail looked pretty good um I can't remember. I looked it up. I cannot remember what it was. <sighs> Colt, I can't. I Google imaged it and then I actually saw that word in print so I knew what it was. But this cat was $1.50 and that's for resale and that is definitely worth it. Then I got these two receipt books, sales, sales receipt books for me for 50 cents each. Um, because I have heard, I'm on a lot of like forums for eBay resellers and I don't know if some, if anybody asks for an invoice, maybe I can use that. I don't, I don't know. I just got them to have them or at a, a garage sale. If somebody wants a receipt, you know, if they're a reseller, I don't know, but I, I just got them. Can't be 50 cents each. And then what is this? Ah, yes, uh, there are two of them. This was a set of two uh, Royal War Worcester porcelain made in England, two fifty for the set, egg coddlers. So those are for resale also. Then I actually got this to put in my suitcase to bring to Greece. I know you people are probably like, Dioni, you're insane. I am, I am. But um, I bring a lot to Greece and, and I just really liked it. <laughs> so it was $3.50. It's made in the Philippines and it's this beautiful basket and these are ceramic fish, hand painted. So I fell in love with it. And it's one of those caddies for glasses. And I thought this would be so cute to like bring out like frappe for people, like when you have company, cause we're always outside. In Greece, you're always outside. You don't sit inside. So I just thought it was super cool to bring like frappe to the table outside. I love it. Now I just have to find glasses that fit in there, but it's it looks like a super good size. Like I feel like anything's gonna fit in there. So that is going in the suitcase to Greece. Yes, it is. Yep. Next, I paid $3 for this, but I thought it was so cool and so unique that I really couldn't turn it down. Somebody uh, had a name on it and then crossed it out, but they did write August 85 on there. So this is Long Island, People and Places, Past and Present. It's a Newsday book. So I actually got that for my mom and my stepfather. I think they would love that to just even just to look at the pictures of Long Island from like the late 70s, early 80s. And it gives a lot of the, you know, the news stories and history and just, it's really, really cool. So $3 for an awesome item. Then they were like trying to give this stuff away. They had their uh, DVDs and CDs were 10 for a dollar. So I took advantage of the sale they were like, please, please take more. So anyway, so the first thing I got was Dark Side of the Moon. First, I was thinking resale, but then it was missing its backing card. And I was actually like, 
I'm like, why am I contemplating this? I'm getting this for me. So I got Dark Side of the Moon for May. Then this is for resale. This is Don Byron Tuskegee Experiments. Uh, and I did look up the resale for this. It is factory sealed. Uh, and the resale is really good. I was shocked. So that is for resale. This is also going to be for resale. Not, not too, too high, but Cocktoo Twins for Calendar Cafe. Then Walk the Line I got for us because it's fantastic. Silence of the Lambs I got for us because I don't even know if I own it, which is a travesty, but I, I'm not even sure. So I got the Reef for Little Man. I got the Little Mermaid because we don't own it. It's another travesty. I got the regular Pinocchio for Little Man because we got the um, Italian version or so. We got a different version of it, and it's like the only thing he ever saw. Uh, this is uh i believe what is i don't know what this is so i either picked it up by accident or i got it for resale because i don't know what this is but yellow card beyond ocean avenue live at the electric factory i'm pretty sure this is for resale i must have looked this up so that, brett and little man just pulled in so happy uh henny's excited so that is a uh dvd of like a concert and then i got ghost ship for us because we don't own it and i love it So all of that was a dollar. What? All right. I think this is the very last bag, guys. And it's actually a mixed bag. So these two things are from the barn portion of the house in the barn, if you're local. And they had a little dollar table out. So I picked these two up for me. This is a little vintage Tupperware. Classic with the yellow lid. And then I grabbed this Vera Bradley wallet. I thought it was cute for travel, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. A dollar. little wristlet too if you want can't beat it all right then these glasses from island thrift and this is going to be the last thing in this thrift store haul so these are i don't know by who so i have to look it up but it was 2.99 for five of them so we have the eighth day of Christmas, the sixth day, the eleventh day, the twelfth day, and the tenth day. What do we got? Six, eight, 10, 11, 12. So I don't know. I guess maybe I'll have to sell them individually. I don't know. Maybe more will show up. I have no idea. But $2.99 for the five of them. Uh, I had a hard time finding them when I tried to look them up because... Um, it seems that many different companies made them, I feel like, or I don't know, or they, would, they have different shapes of these. So I don't really know. But if anybody knows just by like looking at this, please let me know. And it says it like on the back of all of them, like the whole you know it says the sixth day of christmas my true love sent to me six geese a laying and a partridge in a pear tree the eighth day of christmas my true love sent to me eight maids of milking and a partridge in a pear tree they all say that on the back so i don't know let me know if you know that's gonna do it for this one guys i'm so glad i got it filmed I feel so relieved anytime that happens <laughs> and I'm going to go 
I, I really do hope you enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out with me. I have no idea how long this is as per usual. And thank you for finding out with me because now we both know together and uh, that's going to do it. So if you have not yet hit that subscribe button already, I would love if you would consider doing so, becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. Leave a comment down below. Tell me anything you want to tell me, what you like, what you know, anything. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. You'll get a little party explosion. Subscribing is always free. And if you ever want to leave a monetary donation, there's the little thank you heart uh, located where everything else is. So that is going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you again. Love you all. Until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.